Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to list a product for sale on Facebook Marketplace. All right, so I've been testing out Facebook Marketplace, and if you guys have watched my previous videos, you guys know that I like to sell on Craigslist. And about a month and a half, maybe two months ago, I started selling on Facebook Marketplace as well. I never really thought of it as, you know, a player in the game here because I always only used Craigslist and it had worked really well. But I happened to stumble across Facebook Marketplace on my phone and I just started clicking around and you know, I saw that there was a lot of activity. Now, when they first released Facebook Marketplace, obviously it was new and there wasn't that much traffic and really people buying stuff. But after I've been trying it out for about a month and a half, I've already sold like a bunch of stuff on there and I wanna show you guys how to list. So I'm here on Facebook right now on my Facebook profile and to get to the marketplace you want to head over to your home feed and they're going to already have the tabs in the sidebar here. So you can see that there's marketplace, you want to click on marketplace and then you want to go to sell something. So that's how you create like a new listing. So I'm going to actually do a live one here for you guys. So I'm going to click sell something and then it's going to go, okay, what do you want to sell? Like, you know, products, vehicle, home, or you want to do like a jobs for hire. So I'm going to go items for sale. And then they make it really easy. It's actually easier than Craigslist in my opinion because everything's all here in this window and then you can pretty much like list it from here. So the first thing here, select a category. The item I'm actually selling is a queen air mattress that I got from Canadian Tire. So how I came about to get this thing is first of all, last summer I sold a bunch of these on Craigslist. I sold like maybe five or six of them. And last summer they were on sale for $39.99. I saw them and I listed them for about $75 on Craigslist and I sold all of them. Now how I got this one a couple days ago was we actually moved into a new condo building. Me and Arit are now roomies and they have a storage locker and I wanted to buy like a storage bin to place in that locker. So we went to Canadian Tire. I was just like shopping around for, you know, new stuff that we needed here in the new place. And we bought a bunch of stuff. And then at the cash register, they're like, oh, you spent over a hundred bucks. Here's a $20 gift card back to Canadian Tire. And I was like, whoa, really? I didn't even know that. Now the cool thing was, is you got $20 uh, gift card to Canadian Tire, but the thing is you had to use it before, I think like May 26th, which is today, but we used it yesterday. And so I didn't want this $20 to go to waste, so we went back to Canadian Tire and I said, I'm gonna go and find an item that's on sale and then get the $20 off of that and then resell it for hire and make like a $50 plus profit on it. So we were looking around and I found this exact same air mattress that I was using last year and selling last year. And so it was 44. So with the $20, it's going to be 22. And then I'm gonna go and flip that and sell it for at least 75. So that's what we're selling. So select category. Um, let's see here, it's an air mattress, and let's see here, maybe I'll put it in furniture. I'll put it under furniture because uh, there are people that could, you know, buy this as a bed, a temporary bed, and I'll try it in that category first. I could go household as well, and also sports and outdoors. But I want to go the route of marketing it as like a bed for people to use because there are people who are in a pinch and they need to use, they don't have a bed or they're in between places or something or their bed broke or whatever and they just need like an air mattress thing or they have guests coming over, whichever. So I want to go the route of furniture as a category. 
what am I selling? So I'm going to go new queen air mattress bed with built in manual pump. So I'm going to have that as the title. I'm going to go 75 and then you make sure that you guys put a description because they kind of put like the line really thin and then they go photos. So sometimes, actually a lot of times I see people on Facebook skipping this part. Now it is optional and I would highly suggest that you put this in. So I'm just going to start listing some items about this product. So I'm going to go queen size air mattress. And then I'm going to pull up the picture here so that I can see, you know, some of its features. Okay, so I'm going to look at it here. I'm not going to put the brand name. I don't want the brand name. I, I just want it to be like a queen air bed. Air mattress bed. Okay, so um, built in manual pump. Built in manual pump and then I'm gonna put what they put here and that there's two things here easily inflate by hand or foot and inflates in approximately five to seven minutes so I'm gonna put that inflates in approximately five to seven minutes because that's like important you don't want to spend a long time inflating these things that's going to get annoying and then easily inflate by hand or foot I'm going to put that as a new line easily inflate by hand or foot okay and then what else here um, includes repair patch that's important includes repair patch and then let's see here dimensions Okay, so dimensions 80 inches by 60 inches. So I'm going to put dimensions 80 inches by, was it 60? 60 inches. Capacity is 650 pounds. That's a lot. Okay, 650. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, what I can put on it. Oh, I forgot one more line that I always put. So I put, if it's brand new, I'm going to put brand new unopened. That is important for people. Even though you put it in the title, sometimes people will still ask if it's brand new. That's okay. You still want to state it in there. Now I'm going to put some other specifications. I'm going to put... Um, makes a great gift or use it for yourself. And then I'm going to put the line of what cities I can meet in. So you want to put what areas you can meet in. If you can only meet in one city, then only put that. I'm pretty mobile and I'm moving around from city to city. So I can move, I can be in different cities. So I can meet in downtown Vancouver, Richmond, okay, I'll put slashes, Burnaby, depends on where I am during the week. And then I'll also put the line, um, serious inquiries only. Thanks. Okay, so that's pretty much it what I'll put for the description. As you can see, I'm literally just listing out the stats of the product. And then I say a line like makes a great gift or use it for yourself. Just kind of like 
planting that seed that, oh, maybe it is a good gift for so-and-so, whatever birthday, anything coming up. And then I state the cities that I can meet in. So I can meet in downtown Vancouver, Richmond, Burnaby, depends where I am during the week. So you want to state where you're available and when you can meet. And then I'm going to put a photo. In this case, I usually put more than one photo, but because this is brand new in box, I'm not going to open it to take it out and, and take more photos. So I'm going to leave it in the box and I only have one photo. I might take the photo of in front of the box and behind the box, but in this case, the other side of the box was pretty much exactly the same. So I only have one photo. And because of my experience that I had with this last summer and how well this sold, um, I'm quite confident that one photo is fine for this listing. Uh, there are other there are other types of listings where I put like you know three to five photos. It really depends on the product. But for this, because it's brand new and how it sold so well last summer, and how it's an item that's pretty self-explanatory, it's brand new. And in this case, I'll only be doing one photo. Okay, and then you click next. And then it's going to list out a bunch of other places if you're a part of other groups, but I don't really want to spam those groups. So I pretty much just leave it in the marketplace and it has been fine. So I'm going to click post and then there you go. It is listed on your Facebook marketplace. And you'll, the cool thing is that Craigslist doesn't have is that you can see how many people have viewed your listing, which I think is pretty cool. And any messages that you get for the item, they'll show up underneath. So under this listing, I have um, two people that messaged me. And let's say, you know, I'll get out of um, the Facebook marketplace, but you're, and you want to find out, oh, what are my listings again? So you go to pretend you're in home, uh, the news feed, you go to marketplace and then click on selling. And then you'll see here all of your active listings. So that's pretty much all that I've been doing. And I've already sold like a bunch of stuff. I had to take a break because we were in the process of moving and it was so crazy stuff was everywhere, but things are starting to settle down. We now have our little new office here. Things are starting to get organized. Things are less hectic. So I'm starting to list more products here on Facebook Marketplace. I also still let list on Craigslist as well because it's pretty much just the same information and it doesn't take me very long to list on both. It's just great to have it on both platforms to get it out there. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video. That is how you list on Facebook Marketplace. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.